even though water levels at Victoria Falls on the border of Zimbabwe and Zambia are lower than usual, tourists like Sarah are still visiting in large numbers. I am impressed to be honest. I, I've been enjoying too much the, the country and the culture and also obviously this, this site, Victoria Falls is, is wonderful. She wants to return one day like Simon, who is from Zimbabwe, but now lives in the UK. Yeah, I returned uh, to come see Victoria Falls as an experience uh, because when I was young, I never really got to see it. So last year I came and this year I brought my uh, friend from uh, the UK to come actually have a view of the, the great Zambezi and the Victoria Falls here, um, which we... I'm experiencing and it's very nice, very beautiful. But the country's international reputation suffers from what the U.S. State Department describes as credible reports of human rights abuses, including unlawful or arbitrary killings, harsh and life-threatening prison conditions, and restrictions on free expression and medium. Economist Gift Mgano says these government practices negatively impact tourism. That is not good for our brand equity. And so as long as we are doing that, we don't uh, get as much arrival as possible because we earn a bad name as a country. When hardware issues, we need to work on our infrastructure, our roads, our water supplies, our electricity. Even so, government statistics show the tourism sector had receipts of $493 million in the first half of this year compared to $398 million same period in 2023 and tourist leaders hope for continued growth. The, the government has embarked on an emergency road rehabilitation program and some other major roads have uh, started getting attention. Our roads shall also get attention in due course. We are not too much worried about that because our airports have been uh, rehabilitated because uh, also the fact that uh, most of our tourists come from outside the country means that uh, the state of the roads does not completely damage the image uh, of tourism or the numbers that are going to come through into, into the country. Mukwasi added that the number of tourists visiting Zimbabwe has been rising since the end of COVID pandemic and that arrivals were up by 27% in the first half of this year over the same period last year, according to Zimbabwe's Minister of Tourism. He hopes that in future, the sector will rival agriculture, manufacturing and mining as a driver of the economy. Columbus Mavungam, VOA News, Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe.